All right, guys, what is happening? Super quick video here. Just something I came across that I should have known, but uh, is really coming in handy. So I wanted to share it. This weekend, we are racing quads in Kansas City. It's actually the first regional qualifier for this area. There's been one in North, there's been a couple, I guess, a few in the North Central region, but this is the first one within, say, six hours of me. I'm super pumped up about that. I had all my quads set for the channels. They ended up switching them around, which is fine. No big deal. We're still like three days away and uh, I needed to change my channels and a couple weeks ago when I was messing with the pit mode switches uh, that are built into beta flight I noticed there's something really handy that I think could really help you out at races that I wanted to show you really quick and that is you know if you're using a uh, beta flight butterfly this is actually a butterfly quad but I thought it'd be cool to show you that even on a butterfly quad you can still do CLI in CLI all you got to do is type get VTX and here's all your VTX channels you know I'm not using the pit mode switch the pit mode frequency but there it is set to 30 5300 so that's kind of interesting to know that's something you could type set vtx pit mode you know underscore frequency and then put that to whatever you wanted it to be you could manually set vtx frequency to a specific frequency or also a channel and this comes in super handle handy so if you're at a race you're not wanting to you know blast someone out that's currently flying in a heat but you need to change your vtx channel and you don't want to have to do it you know in the goggles and the osd you know you just kind of want to be ready or whatever or let's say you've installed a new vtx and you want to make sure your settings are all right before you get to the line this is the way you do it and then really what i've used this for the most is this type of situation where i need to change over four or five quads to a given frequency and i don't want to get out my goggles and i don't want to get out my radio and all that so this is actually a super handy way probably the fastest way in my opinion to change your vtx channels so the command was get vtx and this was all the information it gave you and then you can type set vtx underscore channel equals and you could type six or four or whatever right now i'm on vtx band five which is race band and i've already changed it to channel eight so i am on race band eight or if i needed to be on fat shark or f eight instead i could type set vtx band equals four because Four is the fourth band on a Unify. So you do have to have smart audio setup, but if it is and you do these settings, the next time you plug in your quad, your VTX is gonna go to the correct frequency. So now if you've got a five volt VTX and your flight controller powers a five volt rail whenever you plug into USB, then be very careful here because plugging in your USB could very well turn your VTX on and blast somebody out. So keep that in mind. Most of my stuff is ran on HP and the VTX does not come on if I plug USB in. So there you go, guys. I hope this helped you out. If it did, um, I'm going to put an Amazon link in the description. Click that and go buy a car or something. It'll help me out. Take it easy.